All right, guys, so here's what I've been working on. Um, as you've seen from the forms, I my pulleys were a little bit too wide. I used a J10 belt instead of a J8 belt. I couldn't thread the top to put a nut on there. So what I did instead was the spindle that runs through, I turned down a section of it, put a lock collar on there, and uh, there's a half-inch plate of uh, 7075 aluminum underneath there, and uh, these rods run through it. And connect to it so what happens is as this presses down onto here the the whole mechanism um, pushes upward and pulls that plate up against that lock collar and takes all the pressure off of the uh, the spindle bearings um, it's really the only way I could find to do it other than putting all the pressure on the bearings and what I really didn't want to do that I don't really have any uh, tooling to put in here right now so I have a uh, three-quarter collet with a uh, three-quarter end mill just to show you guys what I've been talking about. Um, promised you guys a video, so here it is. I'm running it at 80 PSI. As you can see what the bell views I got stacked up there. Uh, I'll probably change them a little bit to get a little bit more pressure out of this um, when I go running maybe some Tormach uh, tooling. But for right now, I mean, it's working. So here's how it works. Is I got my little uh, pneumatic cylinder here up there and then um, a little uh, valve here both of these uh, I got from Gary or uh, GD Marsh as you guys know him uh, so all I gotta do is press down on this guy and the cylinder comes down compresses the, uh, the springs and uh, I gotta hold this guy with my uh, elbow here grab this guy I can pull him out put him back in as you can see the, the collar is extended here a little bit well I gotta uh, press Put it back in, let go of the, uh, the lever, and it sucks it right back up in there. And you can see the, the collar is sucked it back up in there, and I cannot move it. But I'm sure as I go machining, it'll be pulled out of there. So here's a picture, or a little clip of it here. See, it just presses down. These little guys just lift right up off there. Um, all they do is just hold it up, hold the uh, the cylinder up off of it as it's not you know running and uh, right now it'd be spinning if I got it like this you can tell you can see that it's not going anywhere the uh, plate has a hold of the uh, the spindle well that's my design for the uh, the tool changer hope you guys uh, get some inspiration out of it or whatever